Introducing Orchestra, Hume's real-time streaming integration platform. Connect to various systems and microservices, ingest and manipulate data, and load everything into a Neo 4J graph database. Ultimately, creating one source of truth, the knowledge graph. Currently, we are working on a crime scene report case. We see that this report is connected to a person, Alva Konkel, and via a short path to ISIS, the terrorist organization. At the moment, Alva is cleared of suspicion, which is indicated by the blue color of the node. But we already know that Jessica is a member of ISIS. Let's find out how additional information in the data affects our knowledge graph and analysis. Let's have a look at a common workflow we use to ingest our data. Orchestra follows modular logic that allows you to easily build your workflows. It solves a system integration engineering problem and reduces the effort you need to put in. When running a workflow, all the data is streamlined, starting from the components on the left and progressing to the right. In this scenario, there is a reader as the first component that reads from a CSV file. Then the read file passes through a CSV processor that properly breaks down the lines. The batch processor allows you to ingest your data more efficiently. Lastly, we store the data needed in Neo 4J. As just shown, we ingested over 40,000 lines of CSV in just a few seconds. Let's take a closer look under the hood of Orchestra. Here we can see most of the components that Hume Orchestra offers. Here is the list of the already supported connectors from which Hume can read data, such as JDBC, RabbitMQ, and Kafka. Note that we can make custom connectors as well. Here is the list of out-of-the-box supported writers, for example, Neo4j, Kafka, or Elastic. There are a variety of processors that allow us to handle and transform our data. The Cypher query component enables us to write even in multiple Neo4j instances at the same time. The message transformer allows us to use Python scripts to transform our data before passing it through. Finally, the skill components give us advanced capabilities to enhance our data. We can create custom skills to perform named entity recognition, entity extraction or other NLP models or unstructured data. The enrichment component allows us to call and take advantage of any external API. This makes it easy to use our, your or a third-party machine learning model to process and enhance both structured and unstructured data. Let's have a look at a more advanced workflow using some of these components. As Orchestra is a real-time streaming integration platform, we stream data from left to right. In this workflow, there is a new crime scene report which we need to ingest and connect to our existing data. We start from the source where we have stored our files. These are PDFs containing witness testimonies, which are unstructured text. We pass them through the following components to extract the main text that we want to process. Some testimonies are in Spanish, so we pass them through a natural language translation API to get them into English. It is not rare to have data from different languages, so API allows you to translate it to English easily or the language of your choice. Next, we perform named entity recognition to automatically retrieve entities of interest. The entities included in this type of testimony are mostly people and vehicles. If there are other types of entities in the data, we can leverage our models and even help you train custom ones. Finally, we ingest it into the knowledge graph, where all connections with the rest of the data will be made. Let's see how the knowledge graph has been affected by this workflow. We immediately see that the node of Alva Conkle is now yellow. This means that his status has changed and is more of a concern to us now. Let's find out why this happened by expanding his relationships. He is now connected to the newly ingested report. We can view the original text of the testimony, as well as the translation from the API. Within the testimony, there are three people mentioned. Carlos Chavez, who is the witness, Billy Moore, and Alva Congle. It also states a specific vehicle plate number. All of these entities have been extracted automatically from our machine learning model and are now connected in the graph. This links Alva to Billy Moore, another member of ISIS, which begins to raise questions. This chain of events could trigger an alert that made us add him to a watch list or conduct further analysis. 
we have demonstrated Hume Orchestra's seamless data ingestion, knowledge graph connectivity, and extensive processing capabilities. Visit hume.graphaware.com for more details about GraphAware Hume. Thank you for watching.